This strawberries and cream cake takes the cake. It's packed with real strawberry flavor, not the artificial stuff. In today's recipe, we are going to be making a thick and fragrant strawberry compote that we are going to reduce to a nice, thick, saucy consistency. And we are going to pair that with a light whipped vanilla bean ganache and a super moist olive oil cake. All of these flavors are light, fresh, and perfect for the summer, and this dessert is so easy to execute. So if that seems like something you might be interested in, keep watching. Except everyone is probably interested in strawberries and cream, right? First things first, let's get started on our super moist olive oil cake. This cake is the easiest cake that you will ever make in the history of easy cakes in the history of history ever. You don't need a stand mixer or a hand blender or anything like that for this recipe. All you need is two bowls. In the first bowl, we are going to combine 100 grams or two large eggs with 150 grams or three quarters cup of sugar and 80 grams or a third cup of olive oil. This cake is pretty neutral and the olive oil is really the only flavor profile in this cake. So this is the time to pull out that fancy bottle of olive oil. Then we are just going to give this a quick whisk to combine everything and set that aside. Now in our second bowl, we are going to sift together 90 grams or 3 quarters cup of flour and 4 grams or 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Give that a quick whisk to disperse the baking powder evenly and then we are going to fold the dry into the wet mixture. Once your batter is fully combined, we can transfer this onto a small sheet tray and begin to flatten it out. This batter should spread out pretty easily and right before we place it into the oven, I'm going to zest one lemon over the sponge and then this can go into the oven at 325 for about 10 to 12 minutes or until the cake is golden brown. You'll know that the cake is ready when a toothpick comes out clean. While the cake is cooling off, let's move on to our strawberry compote. First, we are going to wash 200 grams or one and a quarter cup of strawberries and cut them into cubes. Then we can place them in a pot with 40 grams or two tablespoons of sugar and the juice of one lemon. Now we can place the pot over medium to low heat and allow it to reduce for 10 minutes. You should begin to see thick, dense bubbles popping up at the surface and when you scrape the base of the pot with a rubber spatula, it should immediately come back and fill the like empty spot in the base of the pot. I hope that makes sense, but it probably doesn't. You know, you just don't want the liquid to like right back in. It's not thick enough then. Once your combo thickens, we're gonna remove it off the heat and whisk in three sheets of bloomed gelatin. Then we can place this into a demi-sphere mold and freeze it overnight or until it's frozen solid. Now let's make our vanilla bean whipped ganache. Making a whipped ganache is one of my absolute favorite alternatives to making like a white chocolate mousse because since there's less fat present, the flavor that you're trying to showcase really comes forward a lot better in a whipped ganache. So you'll get a really nice light and airy whipped texture that is full of that white chocolate flavor. The chocolate that I'm using today is W2 by Berry Calibo. It is one of my absolute favorite white chocolates because it's full of milky and vanilla aroma. It's super easy to work with and it's significantly less sweet than other white chocolates on the market. So I really, really suggest getting your hands on this one. First, we are going to place 320 grams or one and a third cup of cream into a pot. And then we are going to open and scrape two vanilla bean pods into the cream and gently bring that to a boil. Once it boils, we are going to whisk in six grams or three sheets of bloomed gelatin. And then we are going to whisk in 170 grams or one cup of our white chocolate until it is completely melted. Finally, we are going to transfer this into a clean bowl and pour in 300 grams or one and a quarter cup of cold heavy cream. Stir that just to combine everything. And then we can place this in the refrigerator to set up overnight. Once the ganache is set, we can transfer it into our stand mixer and whip it to medium peaks like this and then transfer that into a piping bag. Now we are all ready to assemble. All we need to do is cut our moist olive oil cake to fit into the base of our silicone mold. Then we can fill the mold up halfway and using a small offset spatula, we are going to paint the whipped ganache up the edges of the mold so that we have a super smooth and perfect exterior when we go to unmold it later. 
Then we can place in our frozen strawberry compote, cover that with more mousse, and finally add in our sponge cake. You want to push the cake down slightly so that it sits flush with the base of the mold. And then clean up any excess that might have spilled out when we were pushing down the cake. And this can go into the freezer until it is frozen solid. While that's freezing, I'm going to show you guys a super easy fondant flower that is the perfect decoration for almost any cake. All you need is some white and yellow fondant or you can use just white fondant and color it yellow yourself. And I am pressing it out to an eighth inch thick. And then using this little flower cutter to punch out a daisy, I think that this is a daisy. I bought this one on Amazon and it came with a bunch of other flower and leaf cutouts. So I will link it in the description below if you guys wanna pick it up. Then I am taking the smallest amount of yellow and balling it up in the palm of my hands. I have extremely flat hands, I don't know why, but this makes rolling things into perfect balls easy for me. This is one of my more useless talents. I cannot change a spare tire, but I can roll the perfect meatball. Like seriously, look at these hands. No definition, but I can clap loud as hell. Anyway, to attach the yellow, all you need to do is dip your finger in a little bit of water and place the yellow ball on top of that and then just press it down ever so slightly just so that it looks a little bit more natural and isn't poking out like a 3D ball. And then you can set this aside for a few hours until the flour is completely dried out. Now, once our cakes are completely frozen, we can pull them out of the freezer, unmold them, and begin to glaze them. For this glaze recipe, I'm using my go-to, the same exact recipe that I used in my raspberry and pistachio entree. I will link it up here if you guys want to go and watch a video tutorial how to make that glaze, and I will also link the ingredients for it in the description down below. Now we can pour the glaze over our little cakes. When I am setting up my glazing station, all I do is take a flat sheet tray and cover it with plastic wrap for easy cleanup later. And then I'm putting a cooling rack over that and then directly pouring my glaze onto the cakes. You want to allow all of the excess glaze to drip off and then transfer this onto whatever you will be serving this cake on. I'm transferring it onto mini cake boards, but just keep in mind that this cake is very delicate. So wherever it defrosts, you will not be able to move it from like one plate to another plate. So just put it straight onto the plate that you're gonna serve it on. For decoration, I am using a star tip to pipe more whipped ganache on the top of the petite gateau. I also cubed some more strawberries and I am placing those on the side of the whipped ganache, putting our little fondant flour on top and we are all ready to dig in. Either way you meet me, guarantee to go I like down. the way you ride with that booty on me It's going down Do it down while you looking lonely It's going down Rock around and it's all on me Either way you meet me, guarantee to go down Meet me in the club With that booty on me It's going down today's recipe. If you love strawberries and cream, if you love light fresh desserts, if you love more fruity desserts, this is the dessert for you. I'm, it's funny because most of my viewers are split up into like diehard chocolate lovers and they're like, get everything else out of my face. Or you guys are like, I hate chocolate. Just give me like the fresh fruity, like tropical cakes. And I'm just out here trying to make everybody happy. This is just one of those desserts where you can't go wrong with it. There's nothing not to like here. So all of you chocolate lovers, please don't come at me. There's white chocolate in here at least. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below some other recipes you guys want to see in the future. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Smash the like and subscribe button and comment down below of what you want me to do in Skyblock. Go straight to the center. Open her up. It's so airy. Oh, it's just so light.
Nice. Reducing that strawberry compote for 10 minutes really helps to intensify that strawberry flavor. And then the acidity from the lemon helps to counteract some of the like syrupiness that develops after you reduce something. We killed it. <laughs>